Andy Mogul. Hello and welcome to Backyard Effects. We are getting to the end of our audition episodes and soon we will know the true identity of the new host. So far we've seen a Necronomicon from Patrick, a radial dolly from Dave, a web shooter from Ryan, a blood cannon from Garrett, and a jetpack from Mike. And with only a handful of audition episodes left to show you, some would say we saved the best for last. This week, Zach Finfrock and Wayside Creations are going to show us how to create a flying droid. <laughs> Sit back, enjoy, and let us know how you thought they did by leaving a comment down below. <gasps> Roll it! Andy Mogul. Hi, and welcome to Backyard Effects, where we show you how to make movie special effects for cheap. My name is Zach Finfrock, and on our audition episode, we're going to show you how to make something that should be in every sci-fi movie. Little robotic flying droids that go like this. Flying droids have been in many movies and science fiction games over the years. They're a staple in the Star Wars series. Everything from the remote droid to the probe droid to lots of other ones. I mean, they're all over. But they don't always have to be background props. They can be main or supporting characters, like Weebo from Flubber, or the little guys from Batteries Not Included. A personal favorite of mine, 343 Guilty Spark from the Halo series. We're going to show you how to build your own flying droid, complete with light-up eyes. And then we'll show you how to film with it so it looks like it's floating right next to your actors. All right, let's spin the awesome wheel and find out how much money we'll be spending on this prop. Hey, Puppet Zack, spin the wheel for me. You are a terrible shot. Yeah! Twenty dollars! Woo! Two Tupper bowls that fit together, CD spindle, toy binoculars, dollar store flashlights, some book lights, we only use two, phony car antenna, Little random pieces we'll use for details, some spray paints, and a hot glue gun. Hi, I'm Justin. And I'm John. We're your West Haven Brook. This is the 10 second trailer to my short film, The Danger Element. <laughs> I first started by taking apart the binoculars. I took all the lenses off and the rubber grips on the sides to use later. I then disassembled both flashlights. These will be the eyes. I then took the book lights and made sure they would fit inside the flashlight pieces. I went through a pack of sample lighting gels I have and picked the colors for the eyes. You could use magic markers on the lenses if you want to. I also cut a couple squares from a piece of wax paper. I took the lenses from the flashlight and cut out pieces from the wax paper. This will help give the eyes a flat, even glow from the book lights. I did the same with the binocular lenses and the colored lighting gels. This is where you could color the lenses with magic marker. I then hot glued a binocular lens to the small flashlight piece. Then I glued a book light to the back of that. I was lucky because these fit so snug. I did the same thing with the big flashlight piece. Go easy on the glue because the camera might see this part. I then got the bowls that I was going to use for the body and use a dremel to make the top a little shorter. With the same dremel tool and safety glasses, I cut a circle out of the bottom bowl and then sanded it down so it was smooth. For my droid, the eyes are going to stick out at different levels. Taking the big eye, I traced around it and cut in the middle. I then sanded it to make the circle a millimeter or two smaller. This way, the light fits in snug. I traced the second eye, but for this hole, it needs to be cut as an oval so the eye can sit at an angle instead of straight out like the big eye. Make sure the bottom bowl won't get in the way of the lens. I had to trim mine so that didn't happen. Time to paint. I did a single coat of black and then a single coat of silver, waiting 30 minutes in between. Now it's ready to be assembled. Using more hot glue than I thought I should, just to be safe, I secured everything in place. First with the CD spindle for the puppeteering. Then I hot glued the eyes with a lot of hot glue to make sure they were secure. And then checked the eyes to make sure they weren't crooked. Next, I hot glued the bottom bowl to the top bowl to create the body of the droid. And then added the binoculars on back with hot glue, along with all the detail pieces that give the droid its personality. And there you have it, your own flying droid. As an artist, I love putting little details on things because the little details 
is what makes it stick out, makes it look more real, or makes it fit in, so on and so forth. Stickers, I mean, these are batteries. You know, I got the antenna, even the things from the binoculars, little rubber pieces. It all adds just a little more detail that makes it look like it's a much more expensive prop than it actually is. Now, as for making this guy fly, you can wear a green sleeve or a red sleeve, just a bright color. You can key out. You can use After Effects to mask out the person's arm. Film it by itself on a green screen and then add him to the scene after you filmed it. Hang it on fishing line. There's a lot of things you can do. Uh, for tutorials on how to key out things, stuff like that, you can go to videocopilot.net. We use that site a lot for special effects and it's very easy to watch because they're all video tutorials. Like this one. <laughs> I'm home. Batteries need charge. What the? Cheating has been detected. I barely even touched your keyboard. Oh my god, oh my god. Unacceptable. Babe? Invisibility defense mode engaged. I promise? I die, 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 die. She was on sale! Unacceptable. It was Black Friday! Can you blame me? Shut up, shut up, shut up. She's a quad core! <laughs> Warning, warning, laser, overheated. Old, fiddle sticks. No, 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 no. You must accept your death. Scanning. Scanning. There you are. What are you doing? Hey, honey. Don't call me honey, you piece of... Expletive deleted. I am so... So Unacceptable, baby. Maximum five thousand. No, no, no. Warning. Battery is depleted. Reset initiated. Your batteries are really starting to make me nervous. That's the third time I've had to reset you this month. I'm sorry, baby. Hey, Giles! Oh, hey, guys. What's, um... What's up? Why don't you introduce uh, your new girl computer, the computer girlfriend? What? Ah, uh, yes, my girlfriend. Just, just got her today. Just got her today. It's a quad court? Uh, un unacceptable. And there you have it, a flying droid for cheap. Keep in mind, you don't have to follow these instructions exactly, they're more of a guideline. You can improve upon them in any way you see fit. We want to thank Eric for giving everyone the opportunity to host an amazing show. And uh, join us next week when hopefully we are the hosts. That was good, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I hope so.